everyone, Beer TV Ramble, John Anderson Pierre, looking at Imperial Bourbon Street, Imperial Stout by Abita. Uh, 87 score on Beer Advocate. Uh, it's an American Double Imperial Stout style. Take that back. Yeah, American Double Imperial Stout style. 10% uh, ABV by volume. Uh, this is one beer I've been kind of looking forward to having. Um, I, I'm a big stout guy. You know, of course, Guinness is the godfather, the granddaddy of them all. Like they say, the granddaddy of bowl games, the Rose Bowl. Um, Guinness is the granddaddy of all stouts. And this one, I've had many others, but the last two I've had, well, one I've had recently, which I'm completely floored by. I love, you know, entirely. Um, that is, you know, the 1050 by Oscar Blues um, Brewery out in North Carolina. Um, those folks with the 1050, and that is probably the, one of the best stouts that I've had. Um, again, as I said, 87 score on Beer Advocate. I had this at the beer festival. Uh, the Dolphin Street Beer Festival that was in Mobile, Alabama back in August, the first time, and I really loved it a lot. thought it was really good. Um, anyhow, um, as you see, almost like a shake, a nice thick shake here. Very thick. Sample something. Let's take a look here. Here it is. You could smell the uh, the the alcohol immediately in this beer. Um, really, the way he's punching. Um, past couple of years, you've obviously stouts have been brewing. Uh, these Russian Imperial stouts. You've had these other styles that have been out. You know, founders. You know, they've had um, their their that's their stouts have been very quite popular. I saw this at the store. I picked this up at Greer Supermarket in Mobile. Uh, this was about seven, eight ninety nine for a bottle for the size bottle here, which is a twenty two ounce bottle, if I'm correct. Anyhow, kind of like a bottle of wine, in some way. But um, let's take a whiff. Let's read some of the. Uh, Things that are on here. For centuries, New Orleans' famed Bourbon Street has inspired good times and fine libations, like our Abita Bourbon Street Imperial style. This handcrafted artisan brew is aged for months in wooden barrels used to make a small batch of bourbon whiskey. During barrel aging, the brew absorbs the flavors of the barrels, which intensifies the taste and aroma of a roasted malt, warm vanilla, and smooth bourbon. Not just, you can really smell the vanilla, almost like a like a sort of a coffee sort of thing, you know, something from Starbucks, I don't know. 1050 is about 10, about 10% as well as with this one. So, so this is not one of those beers that you're going to have and just go on, hit the street. Um, this is probably going to be this, my, uh, I had a long day. This is kind of like my first beer of the day, really. And um, I'm going to sample this while there's some football games on right now for the evening and kind of chill with this and take sips here, little sips there, and just kind of relax in with this one. So I'm going to take a this. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. This is really good. It has a hint of coffee, like you're drinking the coffee, but it doesn't have that aftertaste with coffee. You know, it doesn't have that bitter aftertaste, not burnt taste. It's, it's, I don't, I don't know. It's very, very, very firm. It, it sort of reminds you of the traditional, you know, old school style beers they made back in the 18th century, you know. Um, 
this is really good. Within the make, you know, like the same line of Guinness and whatnot, you know. Man. This is really good. It has a it has a scent of chocolate, but there's no chocolate hints or flavor in there whatsoever. It goes down like a shake, very creamy, very malty. Wow. Like I said, I mean, this is like a um. What you compare this thing with, um, with. Um, they say, you know, um, buttery style cheese, Swiss cheese, something with a little bitter, little, you know, oomph, Gouda cheese, um, game grilled steak, which I just had a while ago, pan seared, not grilled, but pan seared, <clears throat> excuse me, that was really good, and, um, I mean, wow, this is, this is, this is excellent. This is really good. You know, it's not one of those things that you you want to save or sit down with some friends and talk. Um, relax. This is a good, you know, nightcap beer. Um, this is a good nightcap, nightcap beer to have, you know. Um, you can pair this with maybe a, a chocolate tort or maybe a You know, dark chocolate, um, Starburst with dark chocolate, I don't know, um, butter pecan ice cream, maybe, you know, it's, it's, it's really that good, um, you can pair it with, you know, a good nightcap, and this, is like I said, it's gonna probably be my last beer of the night, my first and last beer of the night, I'm just gonna enjoy this and sip this, I mean, um, Abita, as I mentioned, they put out a lot of good stuff um, with their line. I mean, there's several other stouts that are out there, but to me, the three that I know, I probably I'm being biased here. You know, I say obviously, you know, Guinness is number one. 1050, 1050 is right up there next to it, and I'll probably have to say that this one here is probably my next 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 favorite one because this is really. You know, like I said, I had this at the at the beer festival, um, and it was like wow, a real eye opener. But this one here is really, really. Um, I, I just in second second time having this, this is really good. Um, again, as I mentioned about Abita, of course their brewery's down in um in in Louisiana. Of course, my good friend Mr. Terrio is down there. You know, what's up, Jay? And everyone who lives down in that part of the country, um, that part, I mean, I'm in that part of the country, I'm in the South. Um, you know, the Amber and the IPA that they have and the Turbo Dog, which is another favorite of mine, you know, uh, that, that's really good. If, um, but, uh, yeah, this is really, really, really doing it for me. And um, there was another one I had, the Southern Tier, um, two times du double milk, uh, milk stout, um, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, that was that was another one um, I had from the from them, uh, from Southern Tier, which I thought was really good too. And I know. I'm not where I can get it from. My my guy right over here, uh, there's a guy I can get it from um, at this package store. Not a package store, but he has a lot, a lot, a lot of good selections of craft beer and bombers you can get, you know, pretty reasonably priced. And I think that's where I also saw the Guinness Nitro. I know that's going to be another review, a review of beer I'm going to have to review down the road. I don't know when, but, you know. Um, but... The founders, KBS founders, you know, Breakfast Stout, you know, there's all of them. Um, there's Lagantis Imperial Stout, which is also really good. I've had that. So I'm, I'm a big stout guy. Um, that one, Lagantis, is only about 9% if I'm correct. I could be wrong on that. Lagantis Imperial Stout that they sell. 
Also, I got it from my guy down there. Um, this is a good beer to have this time of year right now. I've, obviously, the weather's now starting to feel like it's more cool, more, um, what's the word I'm looking for, you know, nippy or a little chill at nighttime. Um, it's starting to it's starting to feel that way right now. Um, and here in the Southeast, uh, I know in the Northeast, it's that way and also parts in the Midwest and of course the Northwest, you know, you know, in the Rockies, you know, this is a kind of good beer to have, you know, I've always had a debate of, you know, those styles of beers, you know, uh, the black and tan by Yingling or whether it be Guinness, you know, something instead of the usual traditional lagers, you know, unless whatever we're making in the house, you know, if we're making some chili or some Mexican food or um, nibbling on something like that, then yeah, we will have your, you know, your, you know, your typical lager or macro lager or Pilsner, you know, Miller Lite, Bud Light or, um, you know, Bud Ice, or Miller High Life or, or NGD, Miller Genuine Draft, whatever. Um, so... Um, I'm one of those guys. That, um, I, um, you know, feel that that's a good beer to have that time of year. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at the TV. This a football game going on. This kind of caught my attention. Um, sorry. I'm not looking at you guys. Apologize. Um. That's, that, that's, um, you know, those stouts, those darker beers, I'll tend to swig during the winter months more than I would the other beers. So, at a reasonable price. If they sell them by singles, then great. Some places do, other places, they're mandatory. You have to do the mandatory six-pack, pick, pick six, or, you know, all these different styles of beers, you know. So, except for one store, Rouse's. In um, Mobile, and all the Rouses, you can pick a stout and go from there and go home. Um, but anyhow, um, anyhow, I think this is a solid, solid ten for me. Um, this one here, the Imperial Stout Bourbon, barrel aged by Abita. Um, you can't go wrong with this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Chris, Christmas time, you know. Ring in the new year, so, you know, sitting down Christmas Eve and you're wrapping gifts with your lady or your boyfriend or whatever, and you're all just, just bullshitting around. You want to get ripped, you know, some say maybe a 40, maybe a, a malt liquor, a lot of malt liquors, but, uh, you know, this, 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 this will go well with this. Um, this is a very, very excellent, um, I'm going to go outside and finish this off right now. Uh, I've got my cigar right over here that I had, was puffing earlier. Before I came into the house, I'm going to finish it outside with this and put my jacket on and just hang out. So a solid, solid, solid 10 for Abita Bourbon Street Imperial Stout. So Jean Henderson Pierre, the beer and TV ramble. Continue to keep watching. Leave your comments on the bottom. and Leave your comments on the bottom. And as always, cheers.